We're here with Zara Pantaleo from La Pocheta. Welcome, Zara. Thank you. Tell us about La Pocheta. Basically, La Pocheta started from very humble beginnings in North Carlton in Melbourne, um, in Rathdown Street, and it started out as a small pizza shop, takeaway pizza shop. Um, two co-founders, Rocky Pantaleo and Felicia Nanya, they both um, bought it as they were working there and basically they brought their Italian ideas and grew it into a full Italian cuisine restaurant. So basically everything's produced from scratch in the restaurant and all the dough is fresh for the pizza, very traditional, 100% vegan, but we have scallopini, grilled fish and anything that you want to eat. So it's a very, very, we say La Pochetta is your local Italian restaurant. So to date, we now have 74 restaurants Australia-wide <clears throat> and including New Zealand. We have seven outlets, restaurants in New Zealand doing very well. So we franchise our restaurants now and um, we're really proud of our Italian heritage, but we're a 100% Australian-owned company, so we're very proud of that. Where are you seeing growth? We're seeing growth. For New South Wales, we'd like to grow that and also in New Zealand. La Pochetta has recently released some new marketing and branding material, all that's got a vintage retro feel. What kind of results are you getting from this? Well, what we're planning, because we've just released it, all to have focus groups with consumers. But what they're saying online is that they like the warm feel and um, it really says what we're about. The good thing is at the same time we released our social media strategy and my marketing team told me it's really, really good because we've gone from 2,500 likes to 8,000 likes. Now, personally, I'm not on Facebook, but I understand this to be a good thing. <laughs> As CEO, what are some of your priorities? The top three priorities for us are growth, support and consistency. Being a franchise company, growth is really important, but at the same time, we need to support current franchisees. So basically from a growth perspective, like I said, New South Wales and New Zealand, so what we've done is we've appointed a demographer to assist us to really analyse who are our consumers, where are they, and where would they like us to be. And then that's really assisted us, and we've now set out where we want to be for Australia and New Zealand and to fill the gaps. Ours is not a formula that we want to saturate the market. It's really about being there for your local market as a fully licensed restaurant. In regards to the support side of it, we've done a few things with our franchisees. Uh, we do an annual brand marketing plan. We've now developed local area marketing plans. So we sit down with the franchisees do SWOT analysis with them in their local market and once the brand marketing plan's been released, we assist them in, in preparing a local area marketing plan that would actually benefit both so that we're sending consistent message. We're also doing um, business health checks for the franchisees because they've all got their own financial advisors and run the business. That's the success of franchising, but what we do is we go and have a look at it operationally, where are the gaps, our mentor with other franchisees that are doing certain things really, really well and helping them improve their sales. We're a flat fee system, so for us, um, the more they grow, the more they keep. And from a consistency perspective, it's one of our biggest challenges because we produce from scratch. So they have raw ingredients and they then need to um, make sure there's consistency there. So what we've done is um, we've loaded all the nutritional database, we've got a software, plus we've got a dietitian on board and now we can do recipe cards with pictures where we've never been able to do that before. So we're assisting them in that way. What are some of your 12 month goals? Well, our 12 month goals, um, just looking at the harbour here behind you, Justine, is having two restaurants here in Sydney, in Sydney metro areas. We're not really targeting the city, but more the suburbs. 
um, and basically we're already negotiating with two new sites, one in New Zealand, and we will be opening in Caroline Springs in Victoria in um, February or March next year. We, we've decided that we are not going to do aggressive growth, but we want sustainable growth. You know, our early beginning, we started franchising in 1990. In that time, I joined the company in 1996 and to put in the franchise infrastructure. And in that time, what we've learned is sometimes if you don't make the right decisions with the people that you choose to run the franchises, you know, if they may not be successful. So for maximum success, it's about doing it slower, making it sustainable and helping them grow. We've got franchisees that have been with us over 12 years. Thanks for your time today with QSR Media. Thank you, Justine.